back to another Bali vlog. This time I'm going to take you through all the villas that we stayed in in Bali. So Changu, then Ubud, then back to Changu. This was our lovely first villa when we arrived in Bali. This was the Papillon Villas in Changu. It was a two story building, three if you include the roof terrace, but this had this outdoor little pond section before you went in. And we had some live fish that were swimming around. So that was always quite fun in the morning, coming out to see what fish we could see. And this was a lovely walk into our villa. So it was very private. It was a door, then your front door, which was quite open, but very good sign so far. And then you come in and this is the living area. So a huge L-shaped sofa, your TV on the wall, which was never actually turned on, but a very open plan. Then the kitchen behind, which again was not used. We didn't cook in here once. But then the lovely dining table with loads of glass windows, floor to ceiling doors that then opened up onto the pool, which was gorgeous. It was private, secluded. There was some greenery. The pool was in the shade a lot though, so it didn't get very warm. And these are the sun loungers that you could lie on, but gorgeous downstairs because it was very open plan. It was on the main road though, so you could hear a lot of background noise and motorcycles, which is why I'm doing this voiceover because there was a lot of background noise. But Gorgeous pool, gorgeous downstairs area, and this was the stairs then outside to get up to the rest of the building. And there was an outside toilet area, which was never really used, but perfect for going swimming and yeah, if you needed to run to the bathroom. And this is the first floor of the building. So you come up, there's again, more floor to ceiling windows, doors going on. You couldn't really open them. It wasn't a balcony, but it had a lot of greenery outside, which was stunning. And this large, large space is like a, reception area I would say with a little table some cushions wasn't used for much but a large large area all the same there are two bedrooms up here so this is the second bedroom with ensuite bathroom so this is a lot smaller than the other bathroom that I'm going to show you but just had your toilet your shower and then there's me but this bedroom was never used so on to the main bedroom which is where we sit and obviously a huge bathroom which I'll get into in a second but also a huge bedroom and a huge bed and the light coming in off the main road which is nice it looked on over the swimming pool but we had a little dressing table these are all the books that i took with me that i plan to read and i will link my book channel up here and you can see which ones i did read and then into the main master bathroom this had a gorgeous huge huge bath and a walk-in shower which is really really nice and your toilet etc huge sink area which i loved massive massive sink huge bathroom there's himself in his wheels jersey of course and then it was up to the final floor the top floor which is a little roof garden overlooking the sites of Bali. So this is really, really nice. We didn't really come up here at all because, yeah, I don't know why. There wasn't really much to look at, but it was quite nice in the mornings just to come up with some fresh air and see the sites of Bali. And then this was onto the main road. So you could stand here and see all the lovely motorbikes, which is a permanent thing in Bali. Then bye to our first Bali villa. And we're all packed and ready to head to Ubud. <laughs> okay, welcome to villa number two. So this is where we come in. There's like the little steps over. And this is like the outdoor garden. A little cute little setup where I will be reading in the mornings, I think, and having my coffee. And then this is the villa. So, obviously, pool. Hello. 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 Then we have bedroom number one. This little sofa area. Bed, bathroom, bathroom, outdoor shower, outdoor bath, very, very nice. Himself interrupted my filming here, but this is onto the kitchen area, which is all open plan. There's no doors or anything. All out into the elements. Lovely dining table and lovely kitchen. Although this was wasted on us as we didn't cook a single thing. So it's all open plan. There's no doors. Little step. Uh, 
and they have water and tea, coffee, fridge. They also have some snacks, which is quite a nice touch. Oreos, but these are more expensive. And then I think they said something about a mini bar. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, some bintang and some coke. Well, I can't drink any of that, so. <laughs> this is the villa. How stunning. And then we have our bedroom. We've chose this one. Bedroom number two. So again, same thing. Sofa area, bed, little welcome drinks. I think right here, like little sink area. You can see, oh girl, my lovely sunburn. Mm. And we have another outdoor shower. We're closed in, in the bath. Stunning. And the first time we seen rain in Bali was in Ubud. It rained almost, I think, every morning, but we were quite lucky that it dried up by eight o'clock every morning, so we were able to enjoy the day, but it seems to rain a lot in Ubud. So breakfast is included with your stay here at Villa de Uma in Ubud. It's all done via WhatsApp, so the reception will text you the night before and ask you what you want for breakfast. So I opted for the All-American and himself went for the Nasi Goreng. And it was nice, especially if you were up early and had somewhere to be and you are out for the day, but we opted to go for breakfast then in Ubud Town Centre uh, afterwards for the next two mornings. And then it was time to head back to Chengdu. We had welcome drinks on arrival and honestly, this is one of the tastiest things I had in Bali the whole time. Welcome to our last villa in Changu. So we have here outdoor sitting area, kitchen. You see Steph in there, like a little day bed. And then the pool area. Very, very nice. And then that's the bedroom in there. I love this little. So similar to the last villa in Ubud, it was all open plan. There was no doors or anything. So you are open to the elements. You will have a lot of wildlife in the kitchen from time to time. But again, the kitchen wasn't used. We didn't sit here or anything. So we ate out all the time. We didn't use the kitchen, but it was well stocked. They had everything you could need. Gorgeous, gorgeous outdoor space. And then this is into the bedroom, a large four poster bed. Love the little swan arrangement that they have. And they put little flower petals on the bed, which is a lovely little touch. But nice bedroom for what we needed there was a tv there was a phone there was a menu if you wanted room service this was more like a hotel i would say than the other one as there was a restaurant on site so you could go for dinner there was also a spa on site so you could have a massage there was everything you could ever need was just at this villa so i would say this was my favorite of them all we've got a massive bath and then the dressing table in here it's huge wardrobe space here an outdoor shower. This is so nice. Of course it rains on our last day. Because they're sad to see us go. 